Hi! In this video, we will talk about scene management and we will use a scene loader to load a scene and also show a progress indicator. Let's get started. Scene loading is in Unity a two step process. And I'm gonna open our website where we have a load behavior to show you exactly how it's done. This is our scene loader page where you can uh, learn about uh, the scene loader component. And you also have a load behavior. And this is the way Unity works. It's not our implementation. When you load a scene, it will uh, happen from uh, zero to 90%. And this will be the scene loading. After that, from 90 to 100%, that's the scene activation. If you want to load several scenes at once, you can disable scene activation. So you, you can load them from zero to 90% plus percent, so you have them ready. This is the ready state right here at 90%. And then you can activate them. The scene loader allows you to have a separation between these two states. And also you have an activation delay should you want to use it. And I will show you in uh, this video how it works. In order to add a scene loader to your uh, current scene, you just right click on the hierarchy view, you go to Doozy, Scene Management, and here you add a scene loader. The scene loader has several settings besides the debug mode that will uh, print relevant uh, debug messages to the console, the manual link to the page that I've just shown you, and to this YouTube video. You can set the load scene mode single or additive. When you set it to single after the scene has been loaded, it will replace your current scene. Additive, the contents of the newly loaded scene will be added to your current scene. And you can load by scene name or build index. What the heck is a scene name and a scene build index? Well, here, file, build settings. And if you add a scene here, it will have a scene name and a build index. And let me add some scenes right now so you will understand what I'm talking about. So let's add example one, two, and three. And so a scene name is this string, E1 minus start minus portrait minus 2D. So this is a scene name, or you can even use the entire path if you want to, to work with it like that. And uh, this zero, one, two, this is the build index. So you can load the scene either by setting zero and it will load this and it will load this one, one and it will load this one, and two and it will load this one. If you say three, well, it won't load anything because it does not exist. Like I said before, after the scene has been loaded, you can allow, and this is enabled by default, scene activation. I'm talking about when the scene has been loaded in the memory, so 90%. Now you can keep it like that and not activate anything, or you can activate it right away. If you use a uh, allow scene activation and a scene activation delay, after the scene has been loaded, this is a delay between the ready state and the beginning of the scene activation. So you can delay that if you need to do that. It, it depends on your use case. We just added it for good measure. Let's continue. And we have a load behavior. You, you can set uh, to hear a sound, play a particle system, trigger one or more animations, send game events, or trigger unit events when the scene starts loading, so at 0%. And you can also do the same thing, hear a sound, play an effect, animations, game events, unit events, when the scene has been loaded at 90%. And here you can see on load scene, so it's this one. And the other one, let's say on scene loaded, and it's this one. It's really easy actually. In order to show the progress, the system uses a progressor, or if you want to use a custom uh, progress bar, you can link it here and update its progress with this Unity event. But we advise you to use a progressor. And okay, let me show you an actual scene loading and see the differences between these uh, things and how they actually work. So I'm gonna delete this and actually let me use this scene. Let's add some uh, images just to make this scene a bit heavier. So let's add some icons, wallpapers. Yeah, let's add this as well. It really doesn't matter what's inside this scene. So let's save this scene and let's call it uh, my special scene. And this will be my scene name. Okay, so I created my scene. Let's go in the build settings. 
let's remove these scenes and let's add this open scene, my special scene. So this is my scene name. This is my build index. Okay, all right. Let's also open one of our example scenes so we can have a progressor, so we can see a progress. Let's go with this one. Animated bars. Here we have <laughs> a lot of progressors. Actually, it's only one progressor that controls everything, but hey, what you gonna do? Let's press play and let's check it out. And here I am. Uh, I have uh, an option to, to show the progress in different ways using a slider, but uh, we're gonna use a scene loader. Again, let's add a scene loader, right click, doozy and scene management, scene loader. And there it is. And I'd like to add the additive way by build index. And that's it. In order to trigger this, you can either do it from code or you can do it uh, via a node or I'm going to do it via an UI button. So I'm going to create a UI button and let's make it uh, 128 by 128. Let's put it here. Let's move it around like so. And let's give him a sound. So let's look for a click sound. Yeah. Okay. And also an animation jump. Let's check, let's check out the animation. Okay. So we know it works and let's write here load. Okay. So now I have my, uh, I have my button and it doesn't do anything because it's not connected to the scene loader. So let's go to on trigger unity events and let's drag and drop our scene loader. And here let's select load scene async. That's it. And now the scene loader doesn't have a progressor referenced, so we won't update these just yet, but we will load this scene with uh, the build index zero. So file build settings, it's this scene. All right, let's press play and let's load our scene. And you will see that after I click this button, all the items from that scene appeared. There you go. And this is my scene added the additive way. If I add it uh, again, I'm going to load and you'll see that this scene will get uh, destroyed. Load. And there you go. My scene is gone now. I still have my UI because it's uh, set not to get destroyed on load, but everything else, it's gone. All right. So let's continue. I'm going to go with a additive mode and let's use the scene name. I don't remember the scene name my special scene. Okay. So my special scene again, allow scene activation. And this time I want to use a progressor. I know I have a progressor here that updates all of these uh, progress bars and I'm going to use it. So drag and drop here and just press play. And you'll see that because the scene is quite light, it will jump almost instantly to 100%. So load. Yeah. And that's not really a pleasant experience. So what can we do? We can animate our progressor. So let's come here. Let's say animate value in 0.5 seconds. This will look something like that. Oh, actually these are animations. You cannot see them. So let's press play. And now we will have an animated loading bar. So let's load. Check it out. Let's also see the scene activation and how it works. So if I do not allow scene activation, well, the scene will get loaded and you will see it here that uh, it's not activated. I won't be able to activate it with uh, the scene loader because you need, you, you, you need to do that from code. This isn't a trivial thing to do to activate a scene. And uh, you usually want to do that from code. So let's press play. And let's disable allow scene activation. And you will see that the scene will get loaded here, but it won't get activated. I'll disable that. And let's load and check it out. It loaded, but is loading. There you go. Because it has not been activated. So now the scene is ready, but it's not activated. Let's exit and let's show you. Let's show again. Let's allow scene activation after three seconds. Let's say four so that we can see it better. Let's enter play mode. So you have, if you have small, small uh, scenes, you may want to show a small progress bar or something like that. And you want to add these, uh, these delays. So let's load. 
and check it out it's loading and one two three four there you go let's uh, set the load even slower let's say one second and check it out so that's it for the scene loader it works it uh, gives you a great amount of flexibility when you load scenes and let's see it and here you go and yeah is uh, it's quite easy to use once you get the hang of it all right that's all for the scene loader thank you very much